What's up everyone welcome back to the latest vlog stop number eight is underway um, today I am in Osaka it is currently 10 25 a.m. I'm gonna be visiting the Panasonic Suida Stadium today to catch the Osaka Derby yes sir between uh, Gamba Osaka of course the host and Sarasa Osaka yeah so today's game is an early game today it's gonna be at uh, 2 p.m. Yeah, so I have a few hours to explore um, I feel like uh, Osaka's already been explored to, uh, for the most part, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, visit the Namba Shrine and then right after I'm just going to hit up uh, Dotonbori, see what I can find to eat there. And then from there I'm just going to go up to the, um, to the stadium. I believe the stadium's on like an expo, uh, exposition park, so that's going to be pretty interesting. It's, probably, it's a little further up from the city. so. I'm excited. I'm excited to check it out. Um, definitely in for a good match. Uh, some good atmosphere today. I'm hoping, hoping both uh, set of fans bring it. You know, it's a derby. It's gonna be pretty heated. I hope. Yeah, hey guys. So it is Golden Week. Um, let's see how the crowds are today. So far, I think it hasn't been all bad. Um, I mean, yeah. I, I depart. I've been departing these past few days. I've been departing early. So I've been avoiding most of them and then uh, coming back late. So I haven't seen like that, those rushes. And I've been um, actually taking a bunch of day trips outside of Osaka. So mainly like towards like uh, Chikoku, I've gone up to Kanazawa. So those places haven't been too bad. Uh, my friend, uh, I actually just met up with him yesterday. Uh, he actually is in Kyoto right now. But oh, man, <laughs> let me just say, Kyoto right now is Wow, <laughs> I don't want to say it's a mess, but there's a lot of people there. A lot of people, and yeah, I don't, I don't want to deal with that today. I have to, I myself have to go to Nagoya on Friday. I have to, I'm checking out of my Airbnb or my hostel. You know, so I'm checking out on Friday and checking into another one on uh, on Friday in Nagoya. So hopefully. I'm hoping for the best, man. I really don't want to deal with all those people, but I'm sure I am. We'll see how it turns out. Yeah, guys, so I had an experience of a lifetime the other day. It was an amazing one and a very tiring one. But basically, I cycled across um, the, the Shimanami, and it was the most epic thing I've ever done, honestly. It's pretty up there with like Mount uh, climbing Mount Fuji, um, visit, you know, like all these other amazing things I've done. It's just, bro, the views are so ridiculous, guys. Like ridiculous. If you ever find yourself in Japan, oh man, I wish I would have vlogged. I actually did try to vlog. I, I had a GoPro, but the memory card, I don't know, man. I just been having trouble with that GoPro, and I'm kind of sad about it. But at the same time, it's okay because I fully, I was able to fully enjoy it without like. Yeah, I don't know. Not that I don't not enjoy vlogging. I love vlogging. But, oh man, that bike ride was amazing, guys. Like, literally, just, oh man. Next time, I'm going to devote myself to staying out there for, like, two, three days because it's totally worth it. Oh, so anyways, yeah, so I started my bike ride around 10, 10.30 a.m. And I ended up in Imambari around 6 6 p.m bro oh man and like it was insane because i was just like everywhere man it was like like oh man i can't even describe it but the amount the, the pain that i went through that i endured oh man 
<laughs> I honestly I made it without uh, walking my bike like the whole the whole route um, I will tell you this though there's an observatory on the last island and it's just like all hill going upwards spiraling around that I, I walked but that's not part of the uh, the, tra the trail so I'm not counting it and dude the the, the view from up there was fucking ridiculous guys wow so if you ever find yourself uh, near Okayama, near um, Hiroshima, even Osaka, I made the, the trip from Osaka. I, I went, go to Onomichi or Imabari, most likely Onomichi if you're coming from the, um, from like Osaka. Um, go and rent yourself a bike, do yourself that favor, and just fucking go, man. And yeah, just just fucking go, guys. Like, dude, it was amazing. I just wish I would have uh, started earlier because I would have had more time, but it just didn't work out. Uh, no worries, I'm still happy about my experience. So, anyways, let's go. It is a very lovely and sunny day today. As you can see, I took off my jacket, decided to take off my jacket, and walk. I mean, I'm staying pretty central. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm near the Tsutenkaku, and like, uh, Namba is like 20 minutes away from me, walking, so that's like nothing. It's one stop away on the on the JR uh, line, so it's kind of nice. I'm, I'm, I'm glad I, I picked the spot where I'm at because like I said, it's been super convenient to get around. Um, the, my friend that I uh, met up with last night told me how where he's staying. It's like just fucking man. It, it, it's been a, kind of a bitch for him. I guess apparently he has to take the metro and then the bus, and like he has a JR pass too. So like you're trying to take advantage of the JR pass, man. Things expensive. Uh, yeah. But um, no, yeah. Uh, I've been taking I've been taking crazy ad advantage of the, my past. I've been going everywhere, guys. I finally went to Shikoku for the first time. Uh, I went to Takamatsu. That place is amazing. Super underrated, which to me was all right because I felt like I was able to <clears throat> enjoy it more. The quietness, peaceful, especially during Golden Week. This whole week has been really nice in terms of weather. Like, look at this, man. I think the rain's gonna pick up again, um, either tomorrow or Friday, and then into the weekend. But the next week in Tokyo, it's supposed to be freaking amazing as well. So I'm excited. I mean, I've had I've had a great time out here, and you know, being out here has been great because I've been able to take all these crazy day, day trips. So that's been you know, it's been a good time. I'm um, exploring other regions of Japan that I or other prefectures that I didn't imagine I'd go to but since I've had so much time I just like you know I kind of have to I went up to Kanazawa Kanazawa was a vibe I love Kanazawa um I actually went to uh it was super random I was walking and I uh found a like a little hot dog like shop and I was like at this point I was hungry and I was like you know what let's go check it out oh but before I decided to say on it before I decided on it, I, I googled a bit, and dude, it had the reviews were amazing. So I was like, I have to try it. So I go and try it, and dude, this little shop, tell me why. It was honestly one of the best shops I've been to. Best little, oh, I loved everything about it. Uh, Yasu-san was an amazing person. Super chill, super laid back. Yeah, man, and um, his hot dogs were amazing, honestly. They were honestly really good.
was kind of fascinating. I just happened to run into this shrine. It was dope. See, I love when that happens. Okay guys, I think this is it. Could be wrong. Let's go check it out. Alright guys, just left the Namba Yasaka Ninja. So uh, quite busy. It was very much expected. It was really nice though. Pretty cool to see in person. Architecture on the lion's head. It's pretty dope. Would have been nice to take a picture there, but I'm not in a way, I'm not in a it's all good. I'll come back another day early in the morning maybe. If I really want one. I might honestly because it's a pretty it's a pretty cool uh, picturesque uh, place. So there's that. But anyways, now I'm uh, headed over to Dotonbori. It's a 15 minute walk from here. It's only 11.18. So I should make good time. My goal is to leave around 12, 12.15, 12.30 the latest. I think it takes about an hour to get to the stadium, guys. So I'm not looking forward to it. Yeah. Apart from that, I think it should be okay. I'm excited, let's go get us some takoyaki. I don't know if you guys can see, but that building right there, it has a it has a rock climbing facility on the side of it, and I totally want to do that. I don't know if I'll have enough time to get around to it, but I've always passed by it. I've always wanted to do it. And it's cool. I'm drawing really close to Dotonbori. I'm right here in Namba now, the district. Alright guys, as you can see, it's a lot of people. Oh, I am excited to try some taco yaki. A bit chaotic, but this is Dotton body. Show you guys the river real fast, and I'm gonna go get myself some takoyaki. Get the glico sign. You can get a better view. I'm 
insane, guys. I'm in Dutton Party. Look at this place. Wild. Let's go see if we can get a better view of the... There's actually this viewing point right here. I don't think I'm gonna do it, but basically, you can line up here, take a picture. There's not too many people here. All right, it's time to go grab some coffee out there. It's so, a 2025 Expo coming up. That'll be cool. It'll be a cool place to be. Oh wow, this is neat. No one participating though. Would you like to try some Japanese green tea, ice matcha, matcha ice cream? Or you can try Japanese sweets, green tea and sweets. Cheers, man. It'd be nice, but I'm here for one mission. One mission alone. Get some takoyaki, guys. Ooh, this place is popping. It's the middle of the day. Everyone's awake, everyone's vibing, and I'm ready to go get some tapioca. I haven't been to this place. The one I go to is more that way. Let's go and try and see if that one's available. If not, we'll figure it out. Yeah, this place is bad, bro. So this is where I normally go and look at this place. Oh hell no. Oh. I'm just gonna cross the river and go somewhere else. Because this line is ridiculous. Hell no bro. Look at this line. I'm not waiting that long for Takoyaki. This is a bugging. Especially there's so many options here. There's Takoyaki right here. Oh man, this, nah, let's get out of here. Fuck that. No takoyaki's worth this way, bro. I actually know a spot right down the street, right across the river, where I'm sure there's not gonna be as many people. That is ridiculous, guys. So, let's get a move on. Let's get out of here. Gotham body is cool, but right now, hell no. See, we gotta just cross over here, walk a little down. We'll find a couple of spots open. There's the donkey, infamous donkey. That up there is actually a Ferris wheel. It's a pretty cool view from up there. I don't think it's running right now, but it's dope. So obviously you got your people lining up here. But if you go further in, you'll find a bunch of uh, little shops as well. Not as busy, I'm, I'm assuming. Because everyone just stays on that side. But once you cross over, look at this. There's no one here right now. And yeah. Let's go this way. 
So this is uh, Shinsai Bashi, I believe. And then if you go more further down that way, it's American Mura. Mura is such a unique district. I think it's honestly named after America. So it's very Americanized in that area. Like, it's freaking ridiculous. <laughs> but yeah, that's where I got my braids done. Um, pretty cool area. Like I said, it's very uh, hip, very vibey. See how calm it is now? Wow. Yeah, I don't think about it It's good if that's what you're going for. But if you don't want to wait in lines like that, it's not worth it. Let's go find somewhere else to eat. guys yeah uh, I guess family more it's gonna be but this is American Muda I believe the start of it at least actually no it's that place that I have to go to I don't know but there's food here so that's a lot so I actually got my hair done up there Do this line up here. Hey, I found the spot, guys. Cool. Cool, guys. Just left that takoyaki joint. Um, honestly, the takoyaki was could have been better. Um, I don't know. It was lacking, but I mean, not hungry anymore. So there's that. So it's uh, it is 12:26. Um, hopefully, I make it in time. Um, it's kind of a it's kind of a bitch to get to the stadium, honestly. Already, I don't know. There's not really any like close JR stations, so um, I don't know. I might have to take uh, the, the Osaka Metro, which is fine, but just like, uh, yeah. I honestly should have uh, started my day a little earlier, which is becoming an occurrence. So, sorry about that, but I don't know, I didn't think the stadium was going to be this much of a mission to get to. But yeah, I just uh, walked through American Buddha, and now I'm walking over to Namba Station. Okay. This is going to be my first time uh, taking the metro here. I've been sticking to nothing but JR lines up until right now. So yeah, Let's see where are the tickets. So just recharged my Suica card with a grand. Now it's time to use it. Is it Tsubashi line? I bought you Tsubashi. Alright. Yeah, so I am taking the train here and I'm gonna transfer over at Osaka station and then catch a JR uh, train there. And then proceed to another station and then from there I start to walk another 20 to 30 minutes. So I think I should be fine on time. Let's hope so. I wanna catch the whole game. Alright guys, just uh, got off here at San Rioca station and I'm 
gonna walk over to the stadium now. It's like a 25, 30 minute walk. It is currently 117, so I should make it in time. I don't know if this is the appropriate way, but like I said, Google Maps is telling me to go through here and low key, this looks pretty badass. So. Here we go guys, we're getting ever so close. This is sick. <laughs> Pretty good, uh, pretty nice walk, pathway, walk through a little tunnel. And through this tunnel, the, at the end of it, there is light. <laughs> That's so cheesy. No, but yeah, uh, the stadium's on this other end. As promised, wow, light. And a rather nice looking stadium, if I say so myself. Alright guys, the eighth stop on the tour. Welcome to Panasonic Stadium here, Suita, here in Osaka, home to Gamba Osaka. And today's venue, we're going to be watching the Osaka Derby here. Wow, it's amazing. Whoa, all right guys, let's figure out where we're sitting. This is gate four, I need to check my ticket. It is 1.40, so I got 20 minutes to get a beer, find my seat, and enjoy the game. Let's figure this out. Visiting fans. I want to show you guys something real fast that I noticed. Give me one sec. Dang, I think you can bring in beer and stuff from outside too. I think that's a thing just here in Japan. Alright. See first, but then look at this. These fools are playing American football. Holy shit. American football outside of a football stadium. Look at that. Incredible. Something you see every day. But here we go. go. Alright guys, we're in. I already got a bunch of goodies. I already love it. Let's go, baby. Oh, this is awesome. Alright, let's go find my seat. Alright guys, I'm C17, so I'm like right here. Whoa, this stadium is magical. Oh my god. But I'm gonna get myself a beer real fast, hopefully. Oh gosh, it's kinda busy. Well, this is Okonomiyaki. I don't want to I just want to drink, bro. Shit. I might have to wait. No, there has to be beer stations. This is food. Got this for a 350 yen. Wow.
desert is lit with a break point in there. Something 
I don't see any other league do. Unless they're like in a bad run. It's possible. Alright guys, game ends over here. Um, in the dying minutes, Seto Osaka spoils the party, spoils my prediction. It ends 2-1 in favor of them. Um, honestly, it was a fucking amazing match. A lot of back and forth. I felt like the first half was definitely more competitive. The second half, I felt like Gamba should have just finished their chances, man. They had so many chances and they just they weren't they weren't clinical enough. And Seto Osaka uh, managed to get one by, and you know it was great goals. Both of their goals were amazing. Um, Gamba almost equalized at the at the last, basically the last play of the game too. But uh, great save by the goalkeeper, which is funny because he was giving so much shit to the ultras over here, the Gamba fans. That was awesome. But yeah, great stadium. Look at this great stadium, guys. Obviously, I was sitting over there, sitting closer to the fans, but wow, definitely uh, by far one of my favorite stadiums so far. It's the eight stop, so I have 10 more, and I'm excited. Um, this was just an amazing match, amazing atmosphere. It was kind of a hassle getting here. Um, I did kind of like start my day late again, sorry. But I managed to get a, a, a good footage, I feel, so there's that. But yeah, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's match. I'm gonna start. Actually, I'm gonna. I might walk around, check out the Expo Park. A few things that I wanna uh, see before I head out. I head back to uh, like towards uh, Dotonbori or Tenoji. So yeah, I mean, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's adventure. Um, very warm day. Very uh, live match today. Uh, very busy, busy, busy day. It's Golden Week, so this is the last match I think before Golden Weekend. So. It should start getting a little bit more mellow again. Yeah, so the next stop on the tour is going to be uh, Nagoya Grand Prix, which is, uh, of course, Gamba Osaka. Yeah, over in Nagoya. Um, that's going to be this Saturday. I leave to Nagoya on Friday. So I check. I, I leave Osaka Friday. And then I'll be checking in to Nagoya, my hostel in Nagoya on Friday as well. And catching the game the following morning. Yeah, I was thinking of... Um, extending my stay here in Osaka and just uh, commuting but no I, I think it's gonna be too late it's a, late, it's a night game so I wouldn't be able to make it back in time at least unless I leave the game early and I don't really want to leave the game early if I don't have to thanks for watching guys um, I hope you enjoyed the latest vlog I'll catch you guys on the next one before running out